Hi, this is a demonstration of the Jameis Power BI suite. These are a suite of four different data models that we have developed and embedded into the Jameis dashboard here. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first one, Program Management. All of these suites are designed the same way. What they do is they import data from Prime into Power BI and consolidate the data and allow you to visually look at the data, be able to slice the data in a variety of different ways to make it easy to understand the data. The first data model here is our standard project status report with budget versus actual. How this is different than our standard project status report is it brings in all of the contracts in here and totals up all of the information. All of the data models here are comprised of different panels that interact with the data. So I have a panel here that shows me project financial summary, revenue and margin broken out by contract. I have a time phased actual versus budget graph and down below I have a project status report period to date versus period to date budget, inception to date, inception to date budget. This model consists of 14 different tabs here. We're only looking at the first one. We'll look at a couple of the other ones. The beauty about the way that these models are designed, if, for example, I wanted to focus on one contract, I can click on that contract. And now all of the panels change and update the information just on that one panel, uh, just for that one contract that I selected. I also have the ability throughout the different reports, we have these different slicers and what these allow us to do is, again, be able to group different information together. If I wanted to look at all of the contracts by project manager, I could. I can click on Michael Martin, and now all of the charts and graphs change just to reflect Michael Martin's contracts. The data you can see here, you can set it to refresh however often you want. It tells me the last time it was refreshed also. So in general, all of the different tabs here present information the same way, just different information. So let's go take a look at another one that I wanted to show. And let's look at uh, same type of data project data coming in, but this time it's PSR uh, with organization. So what this allows me to do is, what this does is bring in the information, but not arrange by project, but by organization. So now I can see my year-to-date revenue, year-to-date project margin for all of my organizations or departments. And I have a summary view of revenue, cost, total cost, profit, and hours by organization. And what this allows me to do is if I wanted to specifically look at my cybersecurity department or division, I can select that and all of the charts change. Now I can see my year-to-date revenue for cybersecurity, my year-to-date project margin for the projects that they're in, in charge of, and what the profit percentage is and what I have uh, profit and hours wise. I can also do it for my other organization which is engineering and I even have specific departments under engineering. So if I just want to look at engineering company site I can see exactly what how that department is doing and I can see my margin projections. Underneath it shows the projects that they're working on also. So that's another one I wanted to show. Another feature that we have is looking at backlog analysis. You know, how much do I have left on my contracts? And again, um, this report shows me all of my contracts 
and how much funding is going to be expiring within the next 30 days or over 90 days, what my total funded backlog is, and it shows all of my contracts. But now if I want to, I can select a specific customer or contract. So let's just do uh, DARPA here. And now I can look at all my backlog just for my DARPA contracts. Now my contracts change. It shows me what the backlog is going to be for the next 12 months, how it's going to be reduced. And I can select a different customer. Let's select NASA and see how our NASA contracts are doing. So here are all my NASA contracts and billing rules. Here's my backlog for the next 12 months for NASA. Now we'll switch over and we will go into the financial suite. This suite consists of the financial statements with different charts and graphs to look for trends this year versus last year, the last four quarters, items like that that we have created. If we come down here, we can see we have balance sheet, uh, profit and loss. I think I'm going to start with the profit and loss budget versus actual. I'll show you an example. So here is my profit and loss broken out by revenue and all my expenses, gross profit, gross profit percentage, and then I have graphically what those are year-to-date versus year-to-date budget. So this is showing my actuals and budget and for period-to-date and actuals year-to-date versus budget year-to-date and variance. So now I can see exactly where I'm at and if I wanted to look at you know specific periods of time I can change that and look at individual months if I wanted to. That gives me the ability to do that. Also my profit and loss trend allows me to look at the last four quarters and same type of thing. Uh, this year versus last this year versus last year for the last four quarters. So I'm looking at the last four quarters, uh, the last two quarters of 2018 and the last two quarters of 2017. And this also allows me what I'm able to do in here if I want to drill down into into a little more detail. If I wanted to look at it by by month, I can do that. You can click on this and it will expand it by month. And if I click on this, it will expand it by month. So now I can look at it for the last 12 months, year over year, and see exactly where I'm at, how I'm doing month to month comparison. Let's go back and drill up. Now I'm back to my four quarters. And the last one I'm going to show in here is the tab that we have for, called ratios. So I have a cash flow one, but let's look at the, at the ratio one. So this just gives me uh, quick ratios, financial ratios, I have my liquidity ratios, my efficiency ratios, and my profitability ratios. That shows my gross margin, net operating margin, my net operating percentage, return on assets, and return on equity. So I get a quick overview exactly where I'm at uh, with that in the financial suite. Now we'll go and just take a quick look at the at the job cost profit and loss, which happens to be looks at the information from an organizational standpoint. We'll look at our trend. Again, we have four different tabs here. Allows me to to look at. Uh, I can look at my profit and loss here. Got my revenue, my direct expenses. and my margins, 
my net income percentages, looking at for the, for the last four quarters, the last four quarters here. And then if I want to, since this is by organization also, if I want to look at uh, my cybersecurity, see how I'm doing in that division or department, and then it shows me my uh, revenue, gross profit, and net income. If I wanted to look at how am I doing in engineering services, I can do that and see how it changes. And again, I can get into more detail if I wanted to look at it in more de each of these expenses in more detail. It's a more summary level. The last model has to do with doing reconciliation. Um, really used for accountants for looking at unbilled, looking at revenue versus billing and so forth. So it's really a, a tool to assist with uh, analyzing reconciliation, invoicing, and revenue, and being able to look at unbilled. And that's the summary of the four models that are available in Power BI.